You know him from the hit TV show Louie on FX, and his new movie is getting great reviews, American Hustle. Very funny film. It's in theaters right now. Please welcome Louis C.K. <laughs> My friend, it's good to see you. Happy New Year to you, Jay. Now, are you looking forward to uh, 2014? Yeah, I am. Well, you, there's no other... You can't look back at it yet. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. I guess <clears> you <throat> have to look forward. Well, I guess that makes... Sure, sure. And uh, I guess I have a realistic expectation of it. It's going to be a mix of, uh, you know, good and terrible and okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, during the New Year's period, everybody starts to say kind of high-pressure things to each other. Like, I wish you... No Somebody said to me the other day, I wish you nothing but love and happiness for the New Year. That's never going to happen. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. No one has a full year right, yeah, of yeah. love. I mean, even rich, happily married, in love people have diarrhea three times a year. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess it's right. I have a th three times, yeah, yeah. Three times, wow. Three on the nose. Wow. But, you know, that's what we want. We want love and... Ha I have love in my life because uh, I have children, so I have to. Right, the two girls, sure, sure. So it's mandatory, yeah, yeah. compulsory love. What's up now? They're, what, 12 and 9? Is that what it is? You're just guessing out of your ass right there, I guess. <laughs> is that about right? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> no, 11 and 8. That 11 actually and 8, all right, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was thinking I'm doing next year. I'm not. I'm not doing no, this. is my right. last year, yeah. That's right, so I'm you got to get it in year. now. Yeah, I'm trying to get it in now. Yeah, though well, I love them. Well, how was uh, Christmas with them? Okay, Christmas was, um, it's a lot of stress. Yeah. It's really hard because the pressure is enormous. Yeah. I have two kids, right. and it has to be great, right. and it has to be even. Like, one kid can't have a better Christmas than the other one. Yeah. So you keep upping the ante. The pressure is so much. I start getting a stomach ache, like, in November. I start getting really anxious about Christmas. Right. And this year, it got to be, like, December 5th, I had got nothing for either of them. Like, not one present for either kid. Wow, wow. And the thought occurred to me for the first time, what if I got nothing? What if I just don't get anything? Right, right, right. What if this one Christmas they get nothing? Right. Not very little, but zero. zero. Right. Just stuff up the chimney and don't buy nothing. Right. And just they come down and there's just nothing. Right. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, just there's nothing here, girls. And they're like, did Santa come? Well, if he did, he didn't leave anything. Not yeah, for you. Yeah. Not for you. Did, did you it? buy it? No, I didn't. Were we bad? No, you just didn't get anything. Yeah. You just didn't get anything for Christmas. Wow. And just watch them go, oh, yeah. Just watch them, like, taking it. I actually think that it would make them better people. I actually do think yeah, really. that one Christmas with nothing would make them more generous, yeah. more, more cautious, right. and smarter yeah. people. Yeah. So it actually would be good parenting. To have one yeah, Christmas that would be good. Parenting. Where you get yeah. nothing, yeah. Yeah. but I can't do it. I no. can't do what's no, right for my no. kids. No, yeah. <laughs> no, I have to buy them Christmas presents because yeah. I love them helplessly. Yeah, I like. It is love. Do you? Are you in love, Jay? Do you, yeah, are sure. you in love? Yes, very much in love. You are with your wife. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, but we, you're in we love. Have a great time. Better now than it's ever been. That's great. Oh, That's yeah. great. Yeah. Isn't that nice to know that? Well, no, it's true. We have a good time. The hard Being, part is over. That's it is. Oh, sure. Well, that's... Nobody flirts with me anymore, so I don't think... <laughs> I think uh, being in love is a great thing, and uh, some people wonder, what do, when do you know you're in love? Like, you're with somebody mm -hmm. at first, and how do you know you're in love? I think you know you're in love when you finally share your innermost secret racism with the other person. <laughs> really? that's, that's when you know. <laughs> really? Really? That's when you know. I hadn't thought of it quite that <laughs> yeah, way. When you're, that's when you know you're keeping this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think. Yeah. Really? I got... I don't think I want to explore that any further, actually. <laughs> yes, well, yeah, yeah. I'm not in love with you, so no, I can't... No, I, I, can't uh... I understand. Now, let me ask you about... Now, what are you doing on your website now? You are, you've got something going. Yeah, what I got this? a new... I have a movie that I is made. Is this a scam? Or what is this? What is yes, it? it's a scam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I sell everything on my website. Right. I, I make comedy specials and sell tickets and stuff. Sure. And it's a simple... It's five bucks, and you buy the thing, and you get to keep it. It's right. not... You don't get emailed and bothered or anything. Right. So, anyway, I have a movie that I made back in 98... Uh, it's 15 years ago now, okay. and it's my first movie that I made. It was mm -hmm. called Tomorrow Night, and okay. it went to Sundance, the film festival, and all this stuff, and, it, and, and Steve Carell is in it. Right. Uh, Conan O'Brien's in it for right. like one minute. Sure, J.B. Sure. Smoove, right. Wanda Sykes. It's got a great cast. Big cast. Yes, but it never got released, ever. Yeah. Why? With a it's, big cast like that, you Well, think... it was a black and white movie, and when I made it, oh, I wasn't smart. anybody. Yeah, yeah black, black and white. And white. Yeah, yeah. It was shrewd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the last black and white movie ever made. Okay, so how... <laughs> 
How did you How did you fund it if you had no money? Well, I had I had about uh, twenty thousand bucks, so I just started making it, mm -hmm. and then I ran out of money. And mm -hmm. I had some showbiz friends, so John Stewart lent me ten thousand okay. dollars. I owe all these people money now. Right. If the movie makes money, right. Right. Dennis Leary gave me money. Oh. Brett Butler, okay. uh, Spike Ferriston, Chris Rock, all these people gave me like ten thousand bucks each. I'm so glad I didn't know you then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's coming out, and yeah. I'm putting it out for five bucks on my website. It's a big, funny movie, yeah. and uh, and you can see it starting in February. Okay. On my website. I know you have a clip. This yeah. Is, you have a clip from the movie. Yeah. Right, let's see. The clip are, are you in it? I'm in only this clip, and uh, Amy Poehler, this is her first movie role, and you're about to see she's only in this scene, but okay. this is Amy Poehler's first movie role, and so this is the Let's clip from the movie. Five bucks right there. That's right. So how how do they? Are you going to pay them back when this? I gotta have to. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I might. Yeah, I gotta pay them back. Do they get interest because? Well, it, no. It, I mean, I get paid first. Oh, you get paid first. Movie. Yeah, I get paid first, and then okay. the rest of them get. I don't know. It's written down somewhere. It's written down somewhere. All yeah. Right. Look, we'll take a break. More with Lou when we come back. Right after. All righty. Welcome back. Talking with Louis C.K. Now, Louis back in production. You took a year off. Why'd you take a year off? Yeah, I just was tired. Yeah? So, <laughs> I was tired and I was able to, they let me take a year off. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you went to work and said, can I just not come in this year? Yeah. You, and they said, yes, you just do it. Yeah, I even say, can I come in next year? They go, no, sorry. Mine's the opposite. <laughs> you know? I got to get the opposite problem. <laughs> what, well, congratulations on American Hustle. Oh, yeah, thanks. Now, now you're an actor. Yeah. yeah. Say, I, I always hate when we lose comics to acting. Yeah, no, don't worry you, about you know, that. So, so you got you to stay true to the roots. Yeah, no, you, know? you got to be good at it. No, actually. but you were good. You were very I'm good. I'm all right. You know, I'm right. like a guy who won a contest to be on the set. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I'm all right. No, no, I thought you were very good. Because no, I've seen thanks. some comics do things, and it's just a nightmare. Yeah, it's But awful. no, that was good. Because you actually, well, tell, tell who your character is. I'm a guy, I play an FBI uh, agent who's... Uh, uh, and Bradley Cooper is this guy who's right. a crazy FBI agent who gets high and does crazy things. And right. I'm his superior. So right. I'm this guy who's trying to keep him in line. But you're like the financial guy, too, right? You're in the Yeah, office. like I have to release the funds that he wants. Okay. And I just keep saying no to him. And right. he gets really angry. And he hits me with a phone with a rubber. It was a rubber phone, but it hurt right. a well, lot. Well, yeah, even rubber phones. Yeah. Yeah. It hurt a lot. Now, David O. Russell, he, uh, he's one of my favorite directors. Yeah, he's, he's a, great. Interesting guy. Yeah. No, he's explosive and. Oh, I mean, is, he's, is, is he? Well, he's very. I, 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 you know, like he's always on the set. If you watch any scene in American Hustle, he's hiding behind a piece of furniture. Like he scrunches behind a couch. Right. And he just keeps yelling, "Do it bigger, more!" And he just yells yeah. at you. And a lot. If you watch carefully any movie of his, occasionally you'll see an actor go like this in yeah. the middle of it because he just yelled at them. This is real. Like, I've seen this in yeah, these other yeah. movies. Now, was it weird for you to take... Because you're a comic, and, you know, yeah. comics, we work alone. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, you're in with real actors, yeah, you know, no, Academy yeah. Award winners. And yes. you're... Were you nervous? Did you yeah, think... That was awful. Uh, I mean, like, when he would yell at you, would you get intimidated? Yeah, it was pretty bad. But uh, I think they edited out all the mistakes I made. It you know, worked yeah. out okay. Did you guys but, hang uh, after the show? Like, did you and the director... Hang, you know, you do that. <laughs> I don't know what the, to, try well, to, he's, get, to try and get in this next movie. Well, he's hang. a great guy because, like, we, I went to the premiere and he took me around and introduced me to all these really important people. He introduced right. me to a lot of big stars sure. and studio chiefs. He's like, this is the head of Sony Pictures. Oh. He, it's very nice that right. way. And then he, then I have to meet all these other people. Like, this is my nephew who has a website. Yeah, and yeah, all yeah, these other people. <laughs> yeah, that's so. Cool. But there's something great about that. Very democratic. Like, yeah. here's people who will help you, and now you have to pay for it by taking a picture. Right. Uh, with my niece, right? You know, just now. I gotta ask you something. Very nice yeah. niece. Yeah, very nice niece. Uh, now, in in the film, in, I shouldn't have said that. Go in ahead. the film, there's an ice fishing story that yeah. you, that you never quite finish with, right. with Bradley. Cooper. What 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 happened there? Well, there's this whole thing in the movie where uh, I had very little to do in the movie originally. In mm -hmm. the script, I just said like a few lines. Mm -hmm. But then I got to the set, and he said, "I want you to tell a story about ice fishing throughout the whole movie." And right. I was like, what? And so he just made it up. Right. He just like, I swear, he thought, you know what? Tell an ice fishing story. And I'm like, what? So 
we <laughs> made up this ice fishing story as we went along. As right. we shot the movie, I'd tell a little bit more. And then the next scene we'd shoot, he'd be like, so what happens next, do you think, in the ice fishing story? I'm like, I don't know. This is your idea. So... <laughs> We just kept telling, and then he didn't use the ending. There is, is an ending. Oh, there is an ending. Yeah, because people always ask me now on the streets, so what's what, the end of the ice is, fishing story? So what is story? the ending? The, the story is that me and my bro the brother of the character are out on the ice, and, and it's too early to be ice fishing, and, and, the, and our dad is coming, and it's very dramatic. Right. And the, the ending is that the kid, the brother, uh, took a dump on the ice. Took a big... <laughs> that's the ending. He took a big anger dump on the ice. You know, and then it melted into the ice, and it stuck in there through the whole winter, and it created a, a like a fissure between my father and brother, and I was yeah. stuck in the middle. You know, I. Uh, <laughs> that's what happened. That's the end of the ice fishing story. I can honestly say I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> well, we'll set up this clip. What's this clip we're going to see? I think it's well, it's it's after I got the. See, the actors do that. Oh, I think it's the. Oh clip. yeah, you oh, know exactly. Yeah, which I know clip what clip it is. is. Well, it's a confusing thing because it's after I got beat up with the phone. Right. Oh, you're but testifying. Then, that's right. You're testifying to, our, to my superior, yeah. right. his superior right. also, because right. he beat the shit out of me with the phone. Okay, here, take a look. I have nothing but the utmost respect for you as my mentor, and it's okay. It's okay. As my mentor, and as, as... What are you doing? I just want to talk from my heart. I don't want to put on records. It's just I want to get vulnerable. Can I finish course, my statement? Of course. I respect you. I, I think you do other things besides respect me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Very funny. <clears throat> hey, I know you're really busy. I want to, uh... Yeah. I want to, you know, we only got about four weeks of shows left. I want to yeah. thank you for making the time to come out and see Jay, I want to say to you that I really owe you a lot because you're the you first uh, uh, late show uh, guest, uh, late night host. To put me on as lead guest, you gave me a lot of help when I was starting out. Oh, well, that's... And also, by the way, every single time anything happens for me, you call me. Anytime something nice happens, like I get in a movie or some good thing, I know I'm going to get a call from you. And I don't, have, I don't do much for you. I come on here. No, no, no. So, <laughs> see, now I have to call every time. Yeah, you better. No. But I'm going uh, to miss coming on here with you. And your whole staff is great. Ross, who does the segment. No, they all do a good job. Marge cuts my hair. Every time I come yeah. here, Margaret cuts my hair. <laughs> she did and, a hell of a job. Uh, I, she, I, yeah. They're great people here. Yeah. Yeah. And Ricky and everybody. And so I, I'm I just I'm going to miss you. And thanks good for everything. good to see you, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you Luke. Much. Thank you. We'll be right back with Senator John McCain and Megan McCain.